Okay, so E1 techniques for the ankle and foot. We'll start with the superior motion of the fibula. So I'm going to whatever side I'm assessing, I'm using that same arm to palpate the fibular head as it's moving. So in this case, I'm going to use my left arm for the left leg. And then kind of place in the heel of my hand right in the fifth mat, that way I can kind of uh, dorsiflex and evert like that. And I'm just gonna apply a superior force to do that. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a motion to help with dorsiflexion and also knee extension and flexion. Okay, and then the other technique is an AP glide of the tibia on the fibula at the So before I do that, I'm going to assess the position of all the malleoli at both feet. So I'm using two fingers right above the malleoli to see the position. I'm going to go to the opposite side. See, it's pretty similar, so we're okay there. Uh, I'm going to bunch up the skin under the fibula with the heel of my hand and kind of cradle my fingers right below the medial malleolus. And then I'm going to use the heel of the other hand to apply a posterior force. Feel okay? And this is a joint play for all tail curl motions. Next is distraction of the talus. This would probably require a stabilizer to help with. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find a circular neutral. So you can use any of those three methods that you learned to do. So we're going to pretend that I have a stabilizer here on the tibia. I'm going to kind of cradle my fingers right above the talus, pull my forearms in, and I'm just going to apply a distraction cat force. You okay? And it's a joint play for all tail curl motions and subtalar motions. So anytime you distract the talus, it's both for tailor cruel and subtalar motions. Then the other technique that you can use is a leverage technique, but it's for treatment, not necessarily assessment. So I'm going to treat it like you do with the destruction of the tibia, except that I'm going to grasp below the malleoli and not above like I did before. So we're going below the malleoli and then, okay, remind me if this is correct again. You start with the uh, grade two force and then you, so you're already at grade two. Let me put you yeah, start with the grade two and then you bend the knee. Okay. Okay, then the knee cut. That's it. Okay. Simple enough. Same thing, joint play for both tailor cruel and subtalar motions. Then you have posterior glide the talus, which same thing, you want to find their subtalar neutral first. I guess it's right about there. I'm going to use a wedge. Can you hear that wedge that's behind your right shoulder? I got my web space right over the dome of the talus. The other hand is stabilizing the proximal tibia. Get in line with that joint line and apply a posterior course. Okay? And this is a component motion to help with tailor curl dorsiflexion and rear foot pronation. And then next is an anterior glide of the talus. I'm going to go on your stomach. And 
And same thing, you kind of find their subcellular neutral. Right about there, okay? Or I'll fake it till I make it right now. The dome under the, over the posterior part of the talus. Same thing, stabilizing that distal tibia. Get over that joint line, get parallel with it. Um, anterior force, okay? And this is for plantar flexion, teleporal plantar flexion, and rear foot supination. Okay, next is a posterior glide of the tibia and fibula. So, correct me if I'm wrong, is this done in the close back? Posterior glide of the tibia and fibula. I think that it is. Okay, yeah, it is. So you're. Oh, this. So this is another one where you find a subtalar neutral, giving about ninety degrees of flexion. And it's essentially treating the same thing that anterior gladiatalis would. So in this case. Taylor curl plane reflection and rear foot supination. So we find the subtalar neutral first. Okay, right about there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of grab it with the right hand and then the left hand is just applying. Uh, Posterior force of the tip fit in a posterior direction. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like I said, tailor curl, plantar flexion, rear foot supination. Oh, uh, it's my joint on my hands. Always. Then a lateral glide of the talus on the tip fit. So this one can be done in sitting. Find that subtalar neutral first. Get it on the opposite shoulder, and then the heel of the left hand is going to stabilize the medial uh, tibia, and then I'm going to find the lateral talus, and I'm just going to kind of, or I'm going to find the medial talus with my fingers here, and I'm going to kind of hook it with my fingers and then push in the lateral direction. You okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a component motion for tailor curl, plantar flexion, and rear foot supination. The medial glide of the talus is just exactly the opposite. So you're cap pushing with the other side. And then it's for dorsiflexion and rear foot pronation. And just make sure that when you Yeah, like when you push the when you're grabbing this one, you stabilize the medial side. Okay. And next with the ankle, we have some medial arc glides of the calcaneus and a lateral arc glide of the calcaneus. So Calvin in class, just so you don't get confused. Um, a lateral glide is good for medial arc motions. Okay, so find the subtalar neutral first. Now you create a lateral arc motion that's going to be the same thing as a medial glide, so that's going to help with rear foot pronation. So it's kind of a lumbrical grip like that, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so here's a lumbrical grip. And you kind of use your chair to help you with it as well. 
So you really kind of want to try to, how's that, isolate that, uh, that calcaneus when you come back to the midline. So just be aware, as you probably learned in class, there's a two to one ratio of inversion to eversion. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have a lot less eversion, a lot more inversion. So medial glide is just exactly the same thing, except that you're going medially and then back to midline. Is that okay? And that medial arc glide is good for rear foot supination. And next we have the distraction of the calcaneus. So you have the leverage technique and then another technique. I'm just gonna go show you the leverage technique. Just keep in mind it's for treatment and not an assessment. So we're gonna do the same thing. And this knee go to the next this one. You're kind of cupping that calcaneus like that. Get in that same position, setting up the same way, and then you bunch up that skin, you're just going to bend that knee. Okay? And that's a joint play for all subtalar motions. Anytime you distract the calcaneus. Okay, and then for the mid tarsal and tarsals, we have the medial and lateral sequence. I'm just going to show you, I'll try to show you that relatively quickly. But my shoot is. First thing we got here is the navicular on the calcaneus. Phone here. He's going to show his foot. So we want to use that wedge first to 